Hillary missing after what was just found on body in horrific explosion, even Dems are done with her now. It's truly startling the massive trail of dead bodies that keep accumulating around Hillary Clinton, as this crooked swamp punch will simply kill off anyone who gets a little too cozy with her secrets. Now an investigative journalist who had just exposed Hillary's latest scandal has just been found murdered, after being blown to smithereens after a rigged car bomb detonated just moments after she drove away from her residence. Several months ago, investigative journalist Daphne Caruana Galazel was behind the massive leak of 11.5 million documents called the Panama Papers that revealed how a Panama law firm helped some of the richest people from all around the world establish offshore tax havens on the Central American country. This illegal scheme allowed crooked politicians like Hillary Clinton to avoid paying taxes, as they'd simply stash massive amounts of cash in Panama. Now it appears as though Hillary is yet again behind another brutal murder, as she continues to prove she will do whatever it takes to keep her dirty laundry from being aired. Immediately after news broke of Gallus' horrific murder, alarm bells around the world immediately went off, with political pundits immediately labeling Gallus's death a political murder. Shocking doesn't begin to describe this, journalist Mark Mikulef wrote. Where it's believed that Galiza was blown up by a bomb that was being remotely controlled and detonated by an IDE. In the weeks leading up to her murder, Galiza had told authorities that she was being constantly harassed and threatened with her life. ABC News reported. Gruana Galiza had been sued for libel because of various articles she wrote on her blog running commentary, and she had filed a report with the police two weeks ago that she was receiving threats. Monday evening's parliament session was scrapped, except for briefings about the bombing schedule to be given by Mr. Musket and opposition leader Mr. Delia. Disturbingly, Galiza's death is already being tied directly to Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders was very vocal in calling Hillary out for her offshore account last year, where the Democratic senator had publicly vowed to prosecute Hillary to the full extent of the law if he was elected as president. Politico reported. Responding to the 11.5 million documents leaked this week showing how a Panama law firm helped some of the world's wealthiest people establish offshore tax havens on the Central American country, the so-called Panama Papers, Bernie Sanders on Tuesday vowed to end the Panama Free Trade Agreement, tying Hillary Clinton to the same policies that he claimed fostered the practice. The Panama Free Trade Agreement put a stamp of approval on Panama a world leader when it comes to allowing the wealthy and the powerful to avoid taxes, the Vermont senator said in a statement released through his campaign, adding that he has been opposed to it from day one. Vowing to use his authority as president to terminate the Panama Free Trade Agreement within six months, Sanders said his administration would conduct an immediate investigation into U.S. banks corporations and wealthy individuals who have been stashing their cash in Panama to avoid taxes. If any of them have violated U.S. law, my administration will prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law, he said. This startling incident comes on the heels of another murder that Hillary's suspected of being behind. At the end of August, State Department and federal agent employee Kurt Smolek's decaying corpse was pulled from the Potomac River. Smolak was hot on the trail exposing Hillary's ties to Pizzagate, as well as her ties to a human child trafficking ring in Cambodia. Cambodia is a country that is infamous for their human trafficking, child sex trafficking, and child sex tourism. The location where Smolak was stationed was a hot spot of this type of illegal activity, and it's possible that he had been privy to some damning information on Hillary Clinton. Yet another state employee is found mysteriously dead his body pulled from the Potomac after being reported missing. This is related to Pizzagate as possible ties to the child trafficking and the criminals behind the numerous email and fraud-related mysterious deaths. There are clear links to overseas child trafficking hotspots, recent mysterious deaths related to the DNC, Clinton, email scandals, links to Clinton's State Department. How many more people who cross Hillary will wind up dead? It appears as though the massive trial of dead bodies will keep accumulating as long as Hillary Clinton is still alive, alive.